Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Cathcart here with Hitting Done Right. Back for another drill video. It's been a while. Uh, for this one, I'm going to talk about stride versus no stride styles. All right, both can be very effective. When to use them, when not to use them, that type of thing. At the end of the day, it's all going to be very individual. Okay, what you are comfortable with. All right, some people like to have the rhythm of the leg kick and stride. You'll see guys that are toe touch and go. And then those no stride guys that are basically launch and then sit down into their load and are able to fire. Okay. I use that a lot with young kids that have the inability to stop their head. Meaning as they get into their load and come forward, that head may start to continue to go. We've got to be able to stay behind the front hip and turn off of the backside, creating that depth in our swing. Okay. You may have guys that are coaches, parents that think, oh, it's, you know, more power or less power one way or the other. That's not true. Okay. If you have the body loaded correctly, it doesn't matter if you're in a no stride setup versus a more standard setup. You still have to load into the rear hip. You still have to get the scaps loaded. You still have to create stretch all of those things that are going to help you produce the quickness and the strength and power through the swing. Okay. So one way or the other doesn't matter more what you're comfortable with. The one thing with the no stride though, you have to make sure that you are wide enough. Okay. I like to use the bat length as a starting point. And then from there you just get into comfort. For me, it's pretty easy right here with that bat length. We're set up. We'll be looking. There still needs to be a load move. It's that same coil move, kind of chest toward the back knee, I like to think about some. Okay, knob to the catcher, you can think about it that way. Same as it would be here, as I coil and load down, same type move. You're still engaging the same muscles. Okay, but a no stride swing would be here, load back, make our swing there. Okay, if I went into more of a leg kick and stride, it would be here and then down. Again, the key is to stop the head. You have to be able to stop the head when that front foot makes contact with the ground. Okay, so the stride. Okay, you'll notice I'm in the exact same position as I was with the no stride. We could go to the toe touch. Toe touch here. That's my load phase. And then through again, exact same position again. All right. So I get questions about this. You know, does it produce more power? You know, is it going to make me quicker? Timing. This is all rhythm and timing. Anything I'm doing with my front side is my rhythm and timing. It's not going to affect my power per se. Okay. And then again, all about personal preference. So if you have questions on this, please reach out, please like, subscribe to the channel. Going to have more coming now that we're into this new year, back on schedule. Um, as always, I hope it helps. Check out my website, online analysis, customized practice plans, all my merchandise. Until next time, y'all be good.